I am here to do a box opening video for a few different packages, leather items that I've had come in today. Uh, very lucky that everything came today, which is just awesome. So I didn't have to wait or do separate videos. Um, and I am filming in my kitchen. Please ignore my <laughs> background, but it's the best uh, room that I have with natural light. So hopefully it works and hopefully you can hear me okay as well. So I have a package here from KMM and Co. Um, I did go ahead and rip open the box, but I haven't unpacked anything yet. And then I have a package from Coastal Hillbilly. Uh, and then I have a package from an Etsy store and um, that's something small. So the items here from KMM, it's just a few small items. My tote hasn't shipped yet. Um, but this, I ordered this on the 18th and today is the seventh. Yes, today is the seventh. So they arrived pretty quickly. Like it was a little quicker than I thought it would be. Um, but I think the small items don't take quite as long as the larger items like the totes. So I've got, it looks like my invoice here. Yes. <clears throat> um, so yeah, I'm just gonna start with the KMM package. It doesn't smell super leathery, but like I said, it's just some small items. It's not a tote. So this is what it looks like. It looks like everything came in little um, dust bags. So this is my first package that I've actually gotten directly from the company. I have three totes um, by them, but I got them used. So this is my first package from the company. So I'm pretty excited. So, ooh, that's great. These are the items. And I'm just gonna, that's everything in the box. I'm just gonna plop that off to the side. And we will start smallest, largest. I think I got some fuzzies on my shirt from that. Um, this is really nice that they include the little dust bags. Like I've seen pictures of people who get the mini totes and the um, crossbody straps come in these, but I wasn't really expecting this. So, ooh. So the first item I got is a key loop in mustard. And I partially got this because I do have a mini mustard coming, uh, ordered. It hasn't shipped yet. So I wanted to feel the leather and that leather is really nice. I think I'm really gonna love the mini tote in mustard. So it has a little clip. You can put your keys on here with this key ring and then clip it on. So I'm really excited to use that. Um, this will work really well with their sunglass strap on the inside of the bag where I put my keys. So really excited about that. And then these cute little bags. Maybe they like resell stuff in these or I don't know, I'll hang on to them though. And they are stamped, some of them better than others with, if you can see that product of KMM, this one's not stamped as well, it's very faded. And what else does it say on there? Atlanta, Georgia, kmmco.com, beware of imitations. Hmm. So this next item is, um, I forgot that I got this. <laughs> so this is the card mini envelope wallet thingy. I forget exactly what it's called. I think it's just mini envelope, um, but this is in the black cypress. So I have a full tote, a full size tote in brown cypress. And then I wanted to try the black cypress and it is really, really nice. It's, um, I have the Portland Leather Goods ones and it's a little thicker than those, which I really like. And it does not have separated slots. It's just open, but that's really nice. And then it just snaps. So yeah, I really like that. Their leather is so thick and amazing. <laughs> yeah, that is really nice. And then this last item is the one I'm really excited for. It is bigger than I expected. Oh, it's so soft. It is the medium zip pouch. And this is the purple Kodiak. And that is so nice. It has uh, pretty easy 
even pebbling, pretty big pebbling, and then like a smooth spot here, and on this side, even bigger pebbles, and kind of a smooth spot here. But I don't mind that at all, especially for a cute little zip pouch. Um, after I ordered this, I did see people saying that the zipper pull itself is kind of small, so you kind of want a tassel on that, which I would agree. They could use a bigger zip pull. But it zips pretty smooth. That is a very generous big pouch. I'm really happy about that. Mm, that smells good. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really excited about this. This is just gonna be um, a storage pouch inside of my totes. I do think this will fit in the mini, but I don't think it's gonna fit in smaller, anything smaller than the mini but it'll fit really well in my zip, or I'm sorry, in my totes. And that'll help organize a lot of stuff. It's definitely bigger than I thought. Isn't it gorgeous? I love the purple Kodiak. It does have some pull up to it. But not too much. It's really, really pretty. So that is all of the items that I just got from KMM. Um, so let me just put those aside. And then we can open, this one is from Coastal Hillbilly. Um, this is my first product from them, but I've been seeing so many people um, <clears throat> in the leather groups on Facebook who are starting to get bags from her and they just have nothing but good things to say. So the story behind this one is I have been wanting to get a new crossbody, small-ish purse to take on vacation. We're leaving um, uh, next week, and I have been um, procrastinating and haven't found the right one. So finally, I decided, okay, this is the one I want to try for this vacation, but I know she has kind of a long turnaround time because everything is made to order. So I was kind of like, shoot, I probably missed my opportunity to get one in time. So I emailed her on Saturday, which was the 4th, and I told her like, you know, do you have any of these already made? Because I'm leaving for a vacation, I'd like to take this bag. And she emailed me back, Robin is the owner of Coastal Hillbilly. Um, she emailed me back, I think with less than an hour, and she was like, yes. I have some in stock and she sent me pictures of like three different ones that she had in stock and she let me buy it that day and she shipped it that day as well. So she shipped the same day and I was so pleased with her amazing customer service and how quickly she got back to me. She was so nice um, and today is Tuesday the 7th so it shipped super fast. Um, yesterday was Labor Day, so it was a holiday, um, but it's here today. It got here so quick. I cannot believe it. I'm so grateful that it got here so quick. So I'm just going to pull this out and put the box to the side. And this is what it's in. Isn't that cute? And just holding this, like, it's bigger than I was expecting, which is good because a lot of crossbodies are kind of too small, and that smells really good. So, let's go ahead and open this up. Comes with this cute little, oh, she wrote, hand wrote, Catherine, many thanks for your business. Have a great trip. Oh, that is so sweet. What a personal touch. She was so amazing. I can't believe, like I'm just blown away by this customer service. And she's just, she is like the only one, I'm pretty sure, who's there making these bags. She's a one woman show and everything I've seen about her bags has just been fantastic. So I'm really, really excited. So I'm just gonna open this up. I'm sorry, it's gonna be a little loud for a second. Bigger than I expected, but I'm so happy about it. 
Um, this is the light worn saddle and this is the uh, crossbody bag. I had my, um, <laughs> I had my ruler out and I was trying to imagine how big this was going to be, which is very difficult to do without something in your hands. But here it is. This is the light worn saddle and it's definitely a lighter color than some of the saddle colored bags that I've seen. It has pebbling on the front, but it's not like super, super pebbly. Um, there's a great texture to it, but they're kind of small pebbles, but they're even. Um, this bag does have a pocket on this side, which is definitely big enough for my phone. It's rare that I see a crossbody bag with a pocket, so that's really, really cool. And then it has super chunky, substantial hardware. That is so cool. That zipper is really nice, and it comes with the tassel. Most companies, you have to buy the tassel separate, but it comes with this tassel. So let's get into it. Ooh, that is really smooth. It's a big, chunky zipper. I love it. So let's get in there. Ooh. I'm going to take this out. So this is the crossbody strap. And I saw in another video, I did not read this on my own on the website, but I think it's like water buffalo. I should have looked that up beforehand, but it is really soft. Like it's already really flexible, really soft, really thick. That is going to be so comfortable to wear. And I like that these aren't, like these are substantial, but they're not super chunky. So if this color matches kind of close to um, my k and mustard that I'm getting, I might use this crossbody strap because this is really soft. Although the k and ones don't bother me, like they're comfortable too, but this just seems like it's gonna be so comfortable. Anyways, let's hook it on. This is a very good sized bag. Oh, there's also a pocket on the inside. So you have a pocket on the back, stick something quick and easy, and then there's a pocket on the inside for even more storage. The opening is a little bit narrow, but it's not that narrow for like the size of this bag because this is a good size crossbody. It is really soft. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just trying to figure it out. So this part right here, I thought it would expand the width of the bag, but it is sewn. Is that the correct <laughs> usage? Yes. Um, from here to here, it is actually sewn along the seam, pinched together on the inside. So that's not going to expand more than that. So you can see it'll expand here at the bottom. And then starting right here on the inside, it's been sewn. So it's not going to expand. It's going to stay in that shape. And same thing on the other side. I thought it would expand out. But that's OK. I mean, it's still, it's still a lot of room. Um, she does not list the um, depth of this bag on her website, but looking at it now, I can actually grab my ruler. Sorry, I do not know how to edit my videos and I don't make enough to care. So um, I meant to have this in hand when I started making the video, but I forgot. So the bottom measures three and a quarter along this bottom stretch of leather. So three and a quarter inches along the bottom there, which that's a good size. And then of course it goes out a little further from there. So I only measured this bottom strip of leather. I did not measure this out here so you can really bolster out a little bit this leather is a 
beautiful pull-up leather. It is the full grain, ooh, look at that, even stays there really nice. Uh, full grain, oil tanned leather. So it should be pretty water resistant as well. So I'm gonna use this for vacation. We're gonna be road tripping and camping. And um, hopefully this beauty gets a little bit beat up, but in a good way. And then I'll measure the rest of the bag too. Sorry, I know I'm a little bit all over the place. I'm not used to making videos. So across the top, it is 11 inches. Um, but the zipper is nine inches. And then it is six and a half tall. Mm. Seven and a half tall. It's like six and a half there, but no, it's seven and a half, sorry. I believe the website said it was eight. So it kind of depends on what point you're measuring it from. If I measure from the bottom here all the way to the top of the zipper, it's almost eight, um, but it's really more like seven and a half. And then the top was 11 and then across the bottom is 11 as well. So I'm just gonna try it on real quick. That strap is crazy comfortable and I like that the buckle is down here um, some of the bags the buckle is kind of up here and it hits me on my collarbone so I have to move the bag back for the buckle to be comfortable which is fine I mean I'm gonna carry it back there anyways most of the time but I'll probably carry it a little bit higher up I like it just a little bit higher but that is very nice it's such thick gorgeous soft leather um it's not as squishy and floppy as i thought it would be but with time that'll change it'll get floppier but it's thick it's gonna last um it is very high quality sorry i can't stop sniffing it it smells really good it's not overpowering but it smells like a really good pair of boots so yeah that is um, that I do have one other thing I wanted to open really really quickly um, Video isn't getting too long. So this is the last thing. This isn't leather um, This is something from an Etsy shop called Lily Blossoms 3. I had to write it down um, And it is a purse strap So I wanted to try a purse strap I've tried one and the pattern was a little too busy for me um, I mostly wear black and I don't know, I'm pretty simple. So it was a little too busy, a little too colorful. So I wanted to try this strap from an Etsy shop that was recommended by someone in the Portland Leather Groupies Facebook group. And that looks really nice. So it is a woven strap. It has really good woven texture to it. It does not have webbing, so it's just the soft woven fabric on both sides. It has really nice antique, what would you say, antique bronze hardware. So that would match Portland Leather Goods, the bags, but I don't really care about match, uh, mismatching hardware. I'll try this on this bag real quick. I do plan to use this crossbody strap mostly on, I think, either my Portland Leather Goods um, small zip or maybe my K&M minis. I don't know. I just wanted to try another one of these that had a pattern I liked more. I do really like this pattern. So it's completely adjustable. You can make it really long or really short. Probably want it longer than that. I actually really like the way that looks. It's not too, ooh. That's, <laughs> sorry, I'm distracted. That is super comfortable. The pattern is almost too busy and crazy for me, but I like it. I think it goes with this bag pretty well. So I think I'm happy with it. It's pretty well made. I mean, all the stitching seems pretty great. So 
that is really crazy comfortable, which I think will be like most likely case that I'll wear it is because it's so comfortable. They have some other straps. It's also really light. I like that. They have some other straps, so I might try some other patterns, but yeah, I really like that. But this is probably going to be the highlight of this video is this gorgeous still hillbilly bag. This wonderful tassel that comes with it. Robin was so amazing. I really, really recommend her bags. Um, I am saving up to try the shoulder carry. I just wanted to get something for my road trip and camping vacation first. And then when we get back, I might order the shoulder carry because I've seen so many pictures and they're so, so pretty. But I really love this bag. I think I will be hanging on to this one. And of course the gorgeous KMM products. And this is a pet, ooh, what if you were to put like a, a D rings on this and make it a little, that matches really well. So this will probably go really well with my mini purple Kodiak. But anyways, ooh, the counter was a little dirty. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I do plan to do another video um, going over KMM bags that I have and kind of like all their features and stuff and why I love them. Um, I might do a comparison video between my KMM and my Portland Leather Goods um, because there are some differences that have drawn me one way versus the other. Um, and I don't see enough of the um, enough videos on KMM. So I think there should be more out there. So I do plan to do that. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and please leave me any comments, um, tips on how to make better, better videos. I know I'm, I'm a newbie at videos, so I don't really know what I'm doing, um, but I love to share this hobby because I love it so much. And please uh, like and subscribe if you want to. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Bye.